What's up guys? It's me, Savannah. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, click that subscribe button, turn on notifications. Give me a huge thumbs up. Now five seconds to start. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. So Savannah, what are we gonna do today? Glue a puzzle. So everyone, if you guys haven't ever glued a puzzle together, we are going to show you probably the best way to glue a puzzle. This is not something that's going to take like five minutes though. It's something that takes about an hour or so. And you, and we were going to show you the best tricks to do it. I, you know, so there are times that you just have a puzzle that you really like. And we have a movie room downstairs, right Savannah? Yeah. So with that in mind, we, we've done a couple movie puzzles and we glued them together and we want to show you kind of the best tricks of how to glue them together right yeah. so we actually went to a thrift store and we saw a part part of it and we said hey we can do this at home and so we we have tried it and it seems to work so first of all first set is just go to uh, your walmart a local store puzzle glue you want probably want a big one because if you have many puzzles the big one works but it, it the big one here comes with a little small little applicator thing mm -hmm. however the small ones come with this big thing and you go want the bigger one and so you don't want to buy a big one and a small one so at least you get this one yeah. and then you get all the glue on this or one or if you already have a little one yep then you you use this one right so first of all we don't really need to be much in the video we're just going to zoom in on the puzzle so you guys can kind of see it, right? Uh -huh. So, the first step is you have to do a hokey pokey. You kind of just want to dump a bunch of glue on out. All over the puzzle, it doesn't really matter. Do, 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 do. It's just like regular glue? Yep, kind of like regular glue. Just that's more stickier. Oh, it's clear. It dries clear. So, then, here's the fun part. It looks so cool. What you're going to want to do is you're just going to go, you're going to find like kind of a corner. Wait, right, Savannah? Uh-huh. You're going to find a corner and you're going to just, so you know, you're going to pull the some of the glue back from the, from, from the inside to, and you're just going to put it from the, to the outside. And this is the kind of fast way that, that I found, and it's the way I have found that makes it go a lot faster and a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Um, I know the... We tried going from the outside or from the inside and gluing the inside. However, it didn't work. It, 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 it worked. It's just, it was very time consuming because you then you try to pull the glue to inside well, or to the outside. And well, as you see right now, as I'm just pushing the glue on the inside, I, I'm getting the outside all glued up. But then I'm also pushing it to the inside, so. I don't have to worry about oh where the glue is on the inside yet. Yeah. Wow. And like I said, this this part will only take five minutes or so. It it's fairly easy, fairly fast if you do it this way. If you go from the inside to outside, it takes a uh, considerably longer because then you're trying to just get the out. You're, you're trying to spend a lot of time on the inside, and you're spending time on the outside. Whereas, as you see, I'm not worried about the inside right now. Wait, right, Savannah? Yeah, he's just worried on the outside, so he can get that done, and then he does to the inside. So, as you see, and when I bring it in like that, part of it is I'm grabbing some more glue and bringing it to the outside. And no matter how much I zoom in, you guys are not going to see the glue because the glue is clear. It's 
So e even if I brought the camera all the way down, you would probably not see it. In and so it doesn't really matter with the camera. The camera, unfortunately, is never going to be good enough to be able to get it where I'm, what, what I'm doing or how I'm doing it here. So it's a matter you just have to do it and you have to actually see the little kind of, kind of build up and glue. So now almost all the outside is, is going to be stuck, stuck because I went through all four sides as you saw I kind of went around. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of make sure the glue went all the way to the outside and I'm going to just kind of go around the outside, right Savannah? Yeah. And if you guys notice, I have an angle. It's a, kind of like a snow plow. I'm, I'm pushing the glue from the outs, outside of the puzzle to the inside. Because you don't want too much glue on the outside either, right, Savannah? Yeah, because if there's too much... Then, then it, it's going to look kind of weird too, right? Yeah. Because then it looks like a little big glob, right? Yeah. Then when it dries, it will spread and look even weirder. And now I'm gonna go on the inside. And this is where you don't want your glue back out here, because I already know that now I have too much glue on here. Yes, by going in and out like that, I have definitely glued the inside of this puzzle together. There's enough glue on the inside of this puzzle. And as you see, I am going over the whole thing just to confirm it. How long did it take? About five minutes, everyone? Five minutes. So as you see, I, I'm just going to take this out, set it aside. And I'm just going to now scrape the glue, put it back in. And this is why you kind of want a bigger container because the smaller ones, um, it, they're, they're small and they don't, you don't have that access to being able to have so much more. So if you run out and you don't have another pack, yep. you to... then you have to get a new one. Yeah. So I'm just kind of putting this in and I'm just going to scrape all the extra glue off. Get some glue right Yep. So I'm going over this over and over. <laughs> and, and each time I come down, I'm just running this across the top of the uh, container glue. And the whole time I'm doing this, remember the glue is drying. But as you're, he's also spreading it. So the thinner the layer, the faster it dries. And if you guys think about it, all you really need the glue for is to get in the center. You don't need the glue to cover the pieces because guess what? The pieces are already together, right, Savannah? Yeah. Only if you want to go put a puzzle piece, put a puzzle piece, glue, puzzle piece, puzzle piece, glue. Oh yeah, that'll take a long time, right, Savannah? Yeah. That'll probably take two hours just to do it. So, guess what? That side of the puzzle is done, done. pretty much. Now I'm going to. Kind of come to this side.
And I'm just now trying to scrape up as much of the glue as possible on this side. Like I said, the this thing is you dump pretty much dump more than what you have to out uh, on all over the puzzle. Because the more you dump out, the less of a headache you have at this point. Because so what if you put enough amount of glue on there? What? What if you put enough amount of glue? Well, I think we did. We put enough on there. If you just barely put enough on there, though, you, then then it takes a little longer to spread it, and yeah, you're not really accomplishing anything because you're spending more time doing it. So if you put more more than what you need on there, and then just scrape it off, then it. Right on the puzzle board. Yep, that's okay. Cause it, I can wash it off. Good. Oh yeah, introduced to puzzle board. Yeah, I got this for a Christmas present a couple years ago, and cause everyone knows how much I love doing puzzles, so I got this as a Christmas present a couple years ago, and I absolutely love it. He, when he does a puzzle, he's like, we put it on there and then start doing. Yep. And this is the best part. There's a drawer. Oh yeah, the drawers are some of the best part. Because where would you put the extra design if it's called a puzzle board? So I'm I'm just scraping to see if I have any extra glue around. And it's it's now got glue all over it and i want to sh zoom in here to show you guys this is why you can't really it won't help to if i zoomed in because you can't really see the I glue build up anyways I can kinda. so the whole thing is actually glued on glued together so if you were but trying to take a puzzle piece it, it's all glued together and there's actually a little bit extra right here, but like I said, you, you can't even see it here. So now we are gonna wait about an hour or so and we'll show you the next step of how to make this the best puzzle board ever. It's been about an hour. So we're gonna to go to the next step, everyone. We got a chunk of phone board from Walmart, right Savannah? Yep. Cost like 98 cents. And then the next thing is, you kind of want the puzzle to be still kind of pliable a little bit. Okay. Yep. But it's not 100% dry. Once it gets 100% dry, then it, it becomes a, a little bit more difficult. But it it's very easy to do and it's, it's still wet. Soft. And then we take our hot glue gun, if you guys remember this from the um, mm -hmm. gluing the badges on, right? Our previous video. Yep, view previous videos. It's a high temp. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a straight line of hot glue down here. As you see, it's actually steaming, it's so hot. And the reason why you want it to still be kind of pliable is for the next step. So I got the, my first little seam here. Whoops. Yeah. I can't the heel. Yeah, I know it's hot. It's like a lava pit. Yep. And now we're gonna kinda Whoa. turn it. Oh. You're gonna first of all you're gonna peel the hot glue off your fingers. That I have. <laughs> it's mad. And then the, and this part will take only a couple more minutes too. I can see the so you can you can fold it away. That that side is oh, all glue. Is that part. I'm getting another hot glue stick ready, guys. I'm just wearing. It's kind of now. I thought not down. Go up. Nope. Five, five. So then I just ran it 
No, the layer thing you glue, hot glue, it, so it's probably about here. Okay, lift it up again. No, no, layer hot glue. Yeah, put it down. And it's man, it's not hot, is it? No, look, the uh, Girl Scout patches, right? Yeah, it's wet. It like, the Girl Scout patches, they were like, they were like, they just got ready, and then we started to put it on, and then. Yep. And now I ran another layer. Oh, yeah, because puzzles pieces both have like a lot of layers. Well, let's see, man, this. The reason why it's not hot or doesn't feel hot is because the puzzle is thicker than the cloth. True. No. Well, that's warm, kind of. Well, that did get a little warm there if it didn't. That's true, but I don't want to hang them by a little bit now. And... Another layer. If you want to see, I'm going to try and get you guys a little better view here. This next row. So it's probably a third way glued. Maybe a little over. So that's kind of warm. Yep. Can you guys see that? So that one is eight. Oops, there you go. You gotta eat more hot glue. <laughs> but every minute we need hot glue, more hot glue. Yep. So you see, I'm just trying to dab it in. It, there, it doesn't have to be in any perfect way. Oh, well, that's kind of what I'm doing. Doing a layer. And the reason why you kind of want to still kind of be the glue to be a little tacky is it makes this easier to come in and out. I never know if you that. I know. So you just draw in, like with the cords you like to loose it. Yep. Like, so as you can see, lots of glue sticks go into this process. But note that that's okay because the hope is that this will last a long time. And then you should want to pat down the other one as you oh that's really good. So then, yeah. And so towards the end, that dries quick. It does, doesn't it? Because I'm just touching the end. Because when it gets cold, it dries. A couple minutes ago, you when you glued this part and it went like this, it's dry already. Yep, because when it gets cold, man, 
it's it gets hard, and then it's glue. Wow. Is that I had to throw chocolate before I got tight glue all over it. So we're nearing the end. As I'm taking all the extra string off. Well, guys, yeah, this I think the hot glue gun is getting cold. It's getting a little tougher for me to do this. But now, the final part, you're just gonna. Then you're going to put it down. And... Take all the strings off. So then the next part, which you guys can do at any point in time. Paint it. No, no, you won't paint the outside. And there's more strings. You, you take your trusty exacto knife. <laughs> you shave off the extras. <laughs> and you just. And you just cut off the extra. Right, Samantha? Yep. Yeah. And you can use the extra for like crafts or anything like that. Yep, so then once the foam board is cut off. The best part of that foam board. And you just... That was cool. Cut it like that. And then and, give and, it to your child. And you would go around the whole outside. So then it looks kind of like... It's just a puzzle. But it's extra thick. And then on top of it, you guys can put like little hooks on the back here or those command strips and you can attach it to a wall. If you see the, the, the chance of these puzzle, these pieces falling off aren't nearly as good uh, off this foam board. So that's kind of nice. I have magic wand. Abracadabra. And if you, you guys know some you guys can stick a little bit more hot glue down the, on the side. And just reinforce it a little bit. Uh -huh. But yeah. And that should it, make it all nice and pretty. Savannah, you want to say anything? Do any shout outs? No shadows. No shadows? You, you want to say hi to any of your friends? No. Not to Tinkerbell? No. Oh, okay. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Watch my other videos. What, what other videos? Yeah. Dr. Pimple only? Yeah, all those other uh, videos. Uh, LOLs? All those other Digits? All your all your those countdown? Those. All those other. Okay. See you guys later. Bye. In shorts. In shorts, yep.